Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. That one can go in that corner there, and then I'll do another one over there. So we've got some aircon going on this one. We will put a leaflet stand there. We will put a rose bush near the door, and a sunflower over this side. Like that. Our money is getting quite low. Our money is fine. What are you worried about? We could do with a bench or something here, I think, as well. I'm going to put some log benches in on this side. I'll put a log bench there. And a log bench there. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think we need anything more around that one. It's just going to make it look nice. Illness pothead discovered. <laughs> Sufferers dis... Pothead. That's brilliant. As sufferers displace their environmental anxieties onto domestic gardening, taking obsessive care over carnations and chrysanthemums to make up for what they can't control. Common symptoms, other than its namesake head pot, include nighttime weeding, fertilizer pockets, and bloodshot eyes. We'll send a patient for treatment in our ward. Excellent. We have a ward. We can use it. That is fantastic. to repair Jetmaster. Janitor to repair Jab Master. So, I've got two doctors working in here at the moment. We've got... You're going over there. We've got the Jab Master, which is going to need some repair work. Uh, upgraded machinery and qualified staff are needed over here. Down to 19,000. Hmm... How are the janitors doing, really? Like, we've, we've still got a mess. I've got rubbish everywhere. We, I'm going to need more janitors. Three is not enough. I need four janitors. And you have got mechanics, ghost capture, maintenance. Let's go with you. Short temper has good memories. Okay, that's fine. So you can go right there and clean up a bit of litter. That would be great. And, well, we need we need to get some training going. What training are we going to do? I've got uh, trainees available right here. I can go with the junior janitor. Could be doing with a bit of training. Junior assistant could be doing with a bit of training. Maybe uh, a nurse for injection two would be nice. Albert Teeth. Josiah Jazz. He's diagnostics two. She's, yeah, the, the, I don't want to train the doctor. A, a new doctor. Let's go higher a second. And a new doctor. Oh, fantastic. Another general practice. Another general practitioner. I will bring you in. Nasty and inspiring. Upsets other people, but is also inspiring. Let's bring you in. You're just the man we want for the job. And... No, I don't want to do anything else just there yet. Uh, I want to go to... Trainees available. Okay, still just Melissa Diamond in there for the doctors. That's that's fine. So you're going to be Diagnostics 2 when you're eventually... But I'm thinking that we want to go with that nurse right there. Or we want to go with the junior assistant and the junior janitor together. And that janitor together. Right, if I If I was to take... You and take the junior assistant and the junior janitor all at once. And then the only courses that I've got are stamina, training, emotional intelligence, motivation, and training masterclass. I don't want to do that one. Motivation, increased speed, and efficiency would be good. Stamina training would also be good for um, all of these. You've already got maintenance, which is good. And you've got maintenance as well. And you've got customer service. So th that is, that is a, th 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 those are good skills. Stamina training work longer before requiring a break. Emotional intelligence is increased happiness, which we do want. We do want to be able to do that. Or we want the motivation. So that they work fast, 10%. I think actually motivation would be really good, especially for the janitors. Trainers available. Now, I, I've got two janitors coming in here. I could go and take you. It's 130% speed. Uh, I've got Nurse Albert Teeth. He's, he's kind of busy elsewhere. 120, 120, you're 180. That's going to cost me a boatload of money if I do that. So we'll do free training in here. Start training 21 to 23 days. That is absolutely spot on perfect. 
I've got a third doctor in here who will be able to help Welcome out between these two rooms. Now approaching the hospital. Pest control. New illness, animal magnetism caused by mutated pheromones and or cheap deodorant. The patient is seeking treatment will need a pest control room. It will cost... Uh, we'll get them to wait. Because what we do have available is we could take out another loan. Now I've got 88,000 still to repay on that loan. So I have to take out a brand new loan and then I won't be able to do anything else for a bit until I can repay one of them. But that would allow us to build a pest control room. Um, now we've got two wards over here for treatment. I'm thinking that pest control would go up here, be another treatment. So we go up that way for treatment because I'll get more GP rooms in here. This this is where we will like have G uh, GPs, diagnostics over there. And that's because that's kind of diagnostics as well. That's why I got it. And then we got the other ward over here. I'm, I'm kind of getting sort of zones laid out. So I'd say pest control needs to go over there. I'll take a uh, how much do we need for pest control? I'm going to go into here. And pest control is going to set us back $20,000. All right. I don't know if I can wait. No, I think we'll take out the loan and then we can build the te pest control immediately and get it done. Just before we go and build our pest control in here, I want to go back into the Superbug network and go into this one. And I said before that I was going to try and get some extra people in here if I can via Steam. And that's what we've got. We've got a few people that have volunteered to help me. So I'm going to add in... Just a couple of people in here who have specifically said that they would like to help me. It's these four right here. Jimmy J, Ducky Goes Bad, Smoodalini and Duck Zorley have all actually they said to me on Discord that they would be, or well, Discord and via the chat, uh, but via the uh, YouTube uh, Message, messages down below, your comments, comment section, that's the word I'm looking for, comment section, um, have said that, that they will actually help, be willing to help me out with this one, so uh, we, we will go for that, we will see what we can do. Now, I've got timed research on there, and I've got timed moneymaker on here, 90 days to earn $200,000, I reckon that I could probably do that one now, I reckon I could probably get that one going, so I'm going to accept that one. Oh, you've got to click start on there in order to get it going. Now, I've got post up here. I don't know what this is. Oh, I've got an invite. I've got an invite from Smoodalini's one. Love sick. Hey, that's all pretty much the same. So if I just say join on there, that that's his one that he's got over here. And... We just, uh, I guess I just do some of it. Uh, psychiatry, what's that one? Cure five patients in psychiatry, uh, recommended lower bullocks. Well, I I could try that one. I can start. You've already have an objective in Lovesick. If you start this new objective, timed moneymaker will be abandoned. Okay, I will wait before I do this one then because I've got the Lovesick objective that I'm doing over here. So I will wait before I do that one. I will go back into the hospital now. We need to build our pest control and we will see if we can make our 200,000 in 90 days. We will build our thing first. So love sick right here, but you got to click start on that one in order to get that one up and running. I've got GPs in over here. We've got efficiency research being a uh, training being done over there. So we want to go this way and we want to get the pest control. I need to get a loan first, didn't I? That's what I said. So we want to take out the $50,000 loan right there. And then we want to go back into rooms and we want to get pest control. Now this is a 4 by 4 room. I got plenty of space over there to put one in we've so I've, I've got diagnosis and more diagnosis over here and then we've got treatment up over here with so far we've got the, the jab thing so I think I'm going to put more treatment down over here so we'll go with a four by four over here for pest control let's zoom right in a little bit and then we can see what we're doing so we'll put the door over there like that then this machine can go right in here like this we will put a big bin in this room. 
That one can drop into there. We'll put a recycling bin right in next to it. We will put an extinguisher in right next to that one. We'll get some nice smelling hand sanitizer on the wall in here. We'll get an air conditioning unit in here just to keep it a little bit cooler. We'll put a rose bush in the corner there. And we will put a sunflower in the corner there. And we will put a yucca plant not in the corner. We'll put a yucca plant there, sort of in the middle of the room. And that's just pushed us up to prestige level 3. The only other thing that I want in this room... Actually, I'm going to have two things. I'm going to put a clock on the wall up there. And I'm going to put a wicker chair in here so that the nurse has somewhere to sit down while they're waiting for patients. So there we go. We have now got a another room in here. We need a nurse to be able to run this one. So we'll just make sure that we've got the appropriate members of staff in here. We want to go to our jobs lists and we want to go to nurses. Now, at the moment, we've got three GPs. OK, I've got GPs that like that they would technically be able to go and work in other areas. But I've got three GPs at the moment and I want to get them up to general practice level two if i can i got one that is ready for training another one that is on their way and jock over there is is not ready for training just yet so we got pest control i've got one nurse here ace fuddle that is saying he's ready for pest control uh it's treatment nurses that we want now you are technically you well you're, you're able to work in the injection room and i don't really have anybody else well i don't have anyone else that can work in the injection room I've got diagnosis nurses, but I don't have treatment nurses. I, I don't have any at all. So if, if I was to remove... No, not you. If I was to remove those and the fracture ward, pharmacy, I haven't got a pharmacy anyway, uh, and I don't have the, the fluid analysis either. If I was to sort of leave it like this, I've, he can only work in the injection room at the moment. Now, if he gets some more training, he is ready for training at the moment. So if I was to allow pest control and have him train in um, curing people, then that might be beneficial. I mean, we could go back into nurses over here. I've already got treatment as a level one skill. So I'm thinking that we hire Lando Glass in here. He's motivated and he's inspiring. So we will drop him in there like that. And then I will hire again. And Angus Peppermint has potential and has good night vision. So we will bring him in. And he's a treatment nurse. So he can drop right into there into um, pest control. Then we can go back into our staffing lists over this way. And we've now got these new nurses. So you will not be allowed to work in the wards definitely and i don't want you working in any diagnosis thing so you are a treatment nurse only and you are going to be the same actually we will allow you to work in a pharmacy if we do get one i'll take the wards off of there and that one so you're a treatment nurse as well now you i'd like to have basic treatment and i'd like lando glasson to have basic treatment as well and then when they're able to advance a little bit further we could get the level two treatment coming through on top of it. I mean, I could get him trained on the level two already, and then he can train the other staff. That might be a better way of doing it. And it's the same I think we ought to do over here, because we're running low on money, and and money is, is, is quite important. But anyway, we, we've now got that bit up there, so we can go and get a few items in here. We'll put a bamboo bench right in there and one there and then we will have maintenance announcement toilets need routine servicing we'll put a carrot thing over here i'm gonna put one of those right there so people have got carrots that they can use i got a ghost over there that's not very helpful we will also put rainwater. there's a rainwater catcher there and we've got our very first patient in here to come and do... He's going to use the ultrasonic cannon. And he's going to have in cardiology. all of these blasted off of him. There we go. We're catching all of the animals. Looks like he's got them all. Is he actually going to say cured? He is. 1,700 coming in from that one. Now, we don't get a vast amount of money. New illness, tender box. 
Our Ill doctors have discovered a new illness. Tenderbox sufferers are characterized by a stifling soreness and a slightly flinty smell. Commonly caused by long camping trips spent trying to start fires. <laughs> we'll send patient for treatment in our ward. Okay. Right, we can do that. Now, the money maker, we do get money coming in each day from... Money. Try not to slip in the sick. Try not to slip in the sick. Alright, I'm going to start that one. I'm going to start you right there to End get to 200,000. View this one. What are we going to get for our end of year awards? We will open all. We've got Rising Star, Employer of the Year, and Best Teaching Hospital. We didn't get any of these down here. And we didn't get the no deaths. We never get the no deaths. Well, we rarely get the no deaths. Uh, I need to earn 200,000 in 90 days. I reckon I can do this... Fairly convinced that I can do this. We can upgrade our easy scan to make it more effective. Chromotherapy required for grey anatomy. Get patient to wait. Okay, how many janitors have I got? First, let's go into staff. I have four janitors. The janitors ought to be able to keep on top of things. And we ought to be able to do our up. The janitors are busy at the moment. I will put in a, that's the heart racer, easy scan over here is ready for an upgrade. I will put in a request for that one to be upgraded, and they want chromotherapy. We're going to go and we're going to build chromotherapy straight away. If I can find, where, where's chromotherapy? Make scan, DNA, cl chromotherapy right there. 21,000 this one's going to cost. We'll go back over to treatment right the way over here now that i don't want to block in that bridge but i don't think i'm going to if i go over here i can do a four by three right there so i've got a nice big area over that side and so what i will do is i'm actually going to bring this door i'm going to drop that one down there and then we'll put the chromotherapy treatment area in there like that and we will put the console can go up there in that corner like that then we're going to want a few little bits and pieces in here like a bin a recycling bin we'll go in there we want an extinguisher to go in here we want some hand sanitizer to go in here we want an air conditioning unit to go in here somewhere we'll put that one in the middle right there like that and we're also going to put some flowers inside the room like this. Makes it look nice. We'll put a sunflower. We'll put a rose bush. I won't put another flower in this time. We're going to run down through here. I'm going to put grey anatomy. We're going to put an uh, informational poster on the wall right there. So people can see what grey anatomy is all about. Because let's be honest, it might be a little bit concerning for them. This, this whole grey anatomy process that they're undergoing. And then we'll dump a chair into there. Right. Job done. 22,250. This one also requires a nurse. I've got three new nurses that are up and running and doing things. Then I want to go over to here and I want to go to items. I'm going to use log benches on this bit. I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one right there. And one other thing I think we ought to do. We want to avoid patient boredom while we're out here. So we'll put a leaflet stand. We will put a bookcase over here as well. We'll drop one of those down. Then we will take the air conditioning unit. It's going to be a trifle warm in this uh, hospital. So, actually, that's, that's a little bit too excessive. So, we will move that. don't know where to put that one. You know what? I'm not going to put another one. I'm just going to get rid of that one. That one's going to go. And then... We want to go with the plants. We need a few more plants. We've got a little bit of dirt or mud or something down there. I'll put a rose over here. We will put another rose over here. We will then put a sunflower. I'll rotate that one around. And that one can drop into there. And we will put another one over in that corner as well so it's, it's starting to look quite good in there we, we've got plenty of flowers around i could do with another flower here except well i've got a flower it's just died 
I've got a flower right there. It's just not looking in very good condition. So we, we just need that one to um, ramp up a little bit. So there's the new one. We've got motivation learned over here. Uh, you are visiting. Why are you throwing up on the floor? That's, that's, that's not quite good. So we've completed our motivation course over here. Next up, I want to do treatment level 2. Treatment level 1, there was a couple of nurses that I want to train with this, but I'm actually going to go with treatment level 2 first. Trainers available. I've got to bring someone in from the outside. It's going to cost me 20 grand for this, but I definitely think this is something that we should be doing. He's working up in pest control. I'm going to start that. I'm now down to just 5,800. And we'll speed things up a little bit. Okay, so our janitors have all come out. They've now going to work faster and more efficiently. And hopefully they're going to go around and Maintenance water all plants. plants. There we go. Need water. They're doing a great job of doing the watering. Staff promotion is ready. Michael Syrup is ready to promote from senior janitor to head janitor. He gains all sorts of things. And we need to go up to the green smiley face. To keep them happy, I need one more staff promotion right there in order to be able to just sort of finish this little bit off. I'm waiting on my nurse. Staff promotion, there we go. Winston Piggott is ready to go from student nurse to junior nurse. We will push, push, we will push him all the way up like that there. Staff challenge, we managed to do that. We got rewards plus 25% happiness and 10k points as well. This is good. A lot of patients are queuing for services run by assistants. How is that even possible? The assistant, I got three of them over here. We're that sorry. Makes for the no sense. That you dropped on our floor. Oh well. Right, we've got an increased cureness. Uh, cureness, we've got an increased cure rate up here. Our wellness index is starting to go up. We've only got ten. Um, 10 people waiting there, and we've got 9 people waiting there. I do think that we want to seriously consider upgrading the number of people that we've got going into the GP's office, but we'll have to see. Grey Anatomy... Uh, outbreak of Grey Anatomy. After a local cinema hosted a 48-hour marathon of Roderick Cushion's classic Paradise Spandex series, but it was a bit long, and frankly, the films didn't hold up. A group from the audience are looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Yes, patients bring them in. Grey Anatomy arriving. Okay, so we've got seven patients turning up. Treatment level two has now been Nurse learned. Nurse needed in chromotherapy. I'm hoping that our level two nurse will be able to come up here to one of these. I'll tell you what, I just want to... Why are you wandering around throwing up everywhere? I'm kind of a bit concerned about Augustus Lavender and what this is going to ultimately result in. And with his review for us and, and, and what he makes of us. Lando Glasson could really do with level one treatment. I could I could I could really do with him training in level one treatment. Didn't I get another nurse? I thought I had two nurses. Oh, I was gonna have Ace Fuddle in level one treatment. Ace Fuddle and Lando Glasson. Have both of those. Uh, Angus Peppermint, he could go and work over in here. I think he's the dude that needs to be working in that room at the moment. Let's have a look. Who have I, who have I got in here? No, uh, this room in here. You are Lando Glasson. You're working in... Yeah, you can stay working in pest control. You, Angus Peppermint. Wait, are, are you the right one? Lando Glasson. Angus Pepp Angus Peppermint is the dude that I want working in chromotherapy. Right. That's good. So I'm I'm going to fast forward him over to chromotherapy. He can go and do that bit. So you there and Ace Fuddle, I would like trained in level 1 treatment. I've either got to pay for that or I got to get a new member of staff to come in who's already got it and get them to train. Now, you, you could train it, Ava Lentils. We could also have Ace Eggman here. Doctors, what have we got? I've got Bedside Manor. I get another GP that I could bring in. So I've got four GPs, which wouldn't be bad because then I've got extra GPs in the office. He's, he's also, he's got no training at all. Does hangry is boycotted bungle products for environmental reasons. I'm going to hire that dude and he can come in to work. Let's go. Staff promotion. 
Elvira Light is ready for promotion from student to junior doctor. That means we've got another person who is ready for GP level 2 training. GP level 2 training is one of the ones that I wanted to get going soon. Uh, general practice 2. I've got the dude with the general practice 1. Um, no, I'm, I'm going with that one. Trainers available. That's going to cost me 20 grand. I can't do that yet. General practice 1. Trainers available are my other doctors. So I got Dr. Melissa. Yeah. Uh, 100%. 110. 110. You're on, you're on break. So you can be the trainer. And then the trainee is my new doctor that I've only just had brought in. So then I've got another one of them. So we'll start training you just in the GP skill right there. And then I've got to just wait until I got 20 grand Easy available. Toilets as you would hope to find them. Not as you'd expect to find them. <laughs> Disaster warning. There are reports of electrical storms in the area. Oh, that's not good. Hospital attractiveness of 70%. Ooh. I don't know if I can do that. Warning, electrical storm, storms have been detected. This could damage our machinery. That's not very good. Uh, love sick. I've got $72,000 remaining, and we're on day 67. Electrical storms are probably not going to help us. Well, maybe they will. Psychiatry! Our doctors have discovered a new illness, retrogaze. An immersive hallucinatory form... Hallucinatory? Hallucinatory form of nostalgia that causes the sufferer to see things the way that they think they used to be. Often in a warming sepia hue. Caused by new, generally less bad problems and irregular celestial activity. They need to receive a course of therapy that will show them that things weren't that great then either. The patient is seeking treatment. We will need psychiatry. It costs 6100 to build. Get patient to wait. Right. $71,000 remaining on the lovesick timed moneymaker. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this time around. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit. So I need psychiatry, which means that I'm going to need a psychiatrist doctor as well. But... We'll worry about that in a minute. I've got a little sort of alcove bit up over here. I'm thinking that treatment of the mind could be up here and just across this bridge over here. If I go to rooms and I go to psychiatry, what I'm actually thinking is that we will have two psychiatrist offices side by side up here eventually. So it'll be a, a nice little sort of retreat away from things. So we'll put the chair in the corner like that. There, just out from the corner ever so slightly. And we'll put you down there. Then we'll put a lamp in that corner and another one in that corner. We will put a medicine cabinet in there and there. That's 8,700. i got to be careful with this now. I can't go and spend too much. Okay, the bin needs to go over this side like that. The recycling bin can go... Where can the recycling bin go? The recycling bin can go on that side. The extinguisher can go in here. Can't put that one in there, but I can put the extinguisher in that corner. We're going to need an air conditioning unit. We do have enough money to get that one. It's got, it's, you know, we're, 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 treat, we're treating people in here, but we also need them to stay happy. We'll put a rose bush there for them to gaze upon. That should also help to keep them happy. A rug on the floor would be another useful thing, I think. It also lends a certain ambiance to the office, doesn't it? It it just it just makes it a little bit more pleasant for everybody that has to be in this room. I don't think we need hand sanitizer in the psychiatrist's office, so we'll go nine thousand seven hundred. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later